Stale. Sorry for doing an April Fool's video and then this video because it's not like I have two in a row. But uh, shit got out of my house. So if you are a member of my patron, Patreon? If you're a patron who's a member of my Patreon and you're five dollars more, don't ignore this video or watch it to see what's in the yard sale. Um, if you're not a patron of mine, joining for five dollars or more, even just once, will give you the opportunity to bid on any one of these items for whatever you want. If you win, I pay shipping, etc. Starting with yesterday's beautiful, wonderful Pizza Hut headphones. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, pasta, Princess Pasta has convinced me that the joy these could bring to someone else is well worth the probably two dollars I'm gonna pay for a uh, padded envelope to put them in. Cut them open, make them balanced, put in uh, cal drivers if you really want to play around with them, uh, make them beautiful. I know you guys said that these stands, well specifically those ones, are too overpriced. I don't think so, 165 a pair. Well, he sent me some black ones and he sent me some blue ones. So that means my original gray ones, I will find a box for them and you can buy these. You can bid $31.18. It's gotta be an odd number. I don't want cheese having to look at different bids of nine people a little bit the same. But uh, join the Patreon, bid on these. They work exceptionally well. <sighs> Boom, sound rise stands. We'll do IMs first or headphones first? IMs first. The Ico O's, which are the little mini uh, FH5s. Uh, I actually have two pairs. This is the real pair, and I have a pre-production pair. That'll go up next month without a case. So this is the real ones, the ones I actually reviewed, if you'd like to bid on those. There they are. I have a brand new unopened pair of tin T3s because like three different distributors are to send me them, and this is an extra new, brand new sealed Put on your shelf in 30 years they'll be worth nothing but i love the tin t3s especially that cable oh my god oh my god the cable hey look it's past his boat we have got both sets of the bgvps we've got the dmgs and uh, the dm6s so i wasn't as impressed but if you want to see what everyone's talking about again no starting bid. You could bid a penny. And if no one else on my Patreon wants them, you win for the penny and I pay shipping in America. I do ship internationally, by the way. I, I will ship anywhere in the world. Granted that you will pay half the cost of shipping once it is figured out and calculated. And it may take an extra week to ship things. Because uh, shipping is a bitch. The just finished Fio FA1s. These are the ones that were like, eh, they're good enough. Again, get them out of my house. Off me a bid. Come in the box. I actually have them wrapped up in there. So, how many IMs is that? Five IMs. The James Donkey headphones. Honestly, probably better than the Pizza Wow, I have a Pizza Hut and the James Donkeys. We might go for record lows here, folks. Uh, before the headphones, right here. Hideous AP80. The Hidi, Hidi is high ZZ. The little portable player. Let's turn it on. Look at it. I hate the silicone case. I don't like the volume knob that much, but it works. And no, you will not get a micro SD card filled with all my music because that's very illegal. I have to take that out. And you can play FM radio with it and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Goodbye. That's in the yard sale. I think I have the box of that too. I'll just have to find it. The SMSL M100 DAC. Honest to Christ, clean AF. Like, I'll put this against anything you got, three, four, five, seven hundred dollars, and you blind test against it, good luck. Reason I'm selling this one, the M300 is here. So, gotta move up in the world. So that's a DAC, a player, two headphones. The Creative Over on Alive 2s. Better than both of those, for sure. Not my favorite set of headphones. Lost the magic and the sparkle from the original creative of Ronald Lives. But if you need a cheap set of headphones, bid $18.33. You're in Michigan. I ship them to you. You got $18 headphones. All you do is pay $5 to get them a Patreon. I'm going to do the, I'm gonna do the Troy McClure salesman bit. Um, the Cloud Alphas. This is a big one for headphones, actually. Because I've got the Cloud Alphas and I have the Cooler Master MH752s. Now I'm going to get to see. Because they're roughly the same price. But how much are you people really willing to pay for them? Like, what do you really want? To, what are they worth to you? Because when you go into the thing and you bid, you could bid $41 for this. 
$143 for this. Is that all that's in it? Or you're gonna bid higher than the average cost and I'll sign my name on the side of it. I'll sign on anything you want. I just hate opening boxes again, but it's not gonna stop me. So Cloud Alphas and those. This, this B, the Topping D30. So another DAC. Uh, I liked it, build quality was okay, it had some switches that did okay things. Not as impressive as the M100 just because of the straight up build. So two DACs there. And what I would say is the biggest thing, the Klipsch headphone amplifier, the Heritage one, the $500, it's a big boy. This is the baby, this is the wooden monolith. This is the, pull it out. Oh my God, I packed it away so well. Get out, desiccant packet bastard. Oh, why would I do this to myself? Oh, I have to repack it now. I almost say don't ask me to sign this because it's so nice, but oh, oh. It smells like vintage electronics. I didn't, you missed out on that part in the actual review. So this is $500 to buy. If you want to save 100, 200, 50. Even if it sells on my goddamn Patreon for $490.18, you say $4 and like seven and 90, 88 cents. Whatever, I don't do math. All it takes is $5 to bid. All you gotta do is $5 to bid and you can flip these switches for yourself. I'm also in talks with Clips to try to get a couple more of these. I might put another one in a yard sale. Um, or I might give one to my family members and tell them I love them. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those two things. We'll go. We'll go down. Let me load, close this up here. And finally, the only speakers in this month's yard sale. Oh, thank God. James Donkeys don't care. That doesn't care. Project Lone Pine and the Cali Audio LP6s. And I should have had these in the last month's yard sale or the yard sale the time before, but I was doing the JBLs and I said I'd wait. So now you got these. Um... I may put a stipend limit on sending these like out of the country because they're very heavy and they're very cheap. And uh, like 200, it, these can be up to $200 to ship if it's like India. And then I got to pay a hundred for that and probably going to get a bidding of a hundred. And it's like, ugh. I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully the winner is someone local or nearby and I can ship them for pretty cheap. So let's review. We've got one, two, three, four, five headphones. Pizza Hut, James Donkey, Creative Ivana Live 2s, HyperX Cloud Alphas, and the uh, amazing Cooler Master MH752s. One pair of speakers, Cali Audio LP6s. One portable player, the hideous AP80. Five IEMs, uh, both pair of BGVPs, the DM6s and the DMGs. A brand new Tin T3, the Ico O1s, the FIO FA1s, two DACs, the Topping D30 and the M100, the Soundrise speaker stands, and the lovely Klipsch Heritage Balanced Outputting Headphone Amplifier. If you would like to own any of these, click the link in the description, or if you don't know what they are, I have links to these products, and they'll also be... This is the video, I guess. You can look up all the reviews. All these items have been reviewed on this channel previous to this bit moment. Go look for them, check them out, and, uh, well, happy bidding. And I will see you with a normal video tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. It'll probably be some more headphones.